Welcome back to my channel, so guys. Uh, how are you all? So today's vlog is all about my department. What I uh, do in this department, I will see you about it. Okay. What we do uh, in the OMFS department, Oral Menstruation Surgery department, um, and what are the work that uh, we do in this department, and uh, what are uh, the um, and how we can build a career in this department. If you want to build a career in this department, you can also build a career in this department. Mm -hmm. Many uh, people don't know that uh, oral microfacial uh, surgeon, uh, oral microfacial surgeon is a career, and where um, the people, the doctors, uh, not only uh, dentistry is not only about extracting teeth and doing RCTs. It is more than that, and the oral microfacial surgeon is a department where uh, you can become a surgeon in um, people have a wrong concept uh, that after doing MBBS only uh, and uh, doing MBS uh, sorry doing MBBS and then after doing MD you can become a surgeon but uh, this is a field in dentistry where you are going to be a surgeon you are not only dealing with the teeth but with the mandibula and the mandible also so this part of the team, uh, uh, this part of the face you are going to deal with. Uh, it is mainly a branch of aesthetic. So uh, aesthetic is the main concern. Uh, not only aesthetic, but uh, people suffering from cleft palate, rhinoplasty, uh, alveoloplasty, and there are many more procedures like extraction. So extraction is the minor procedure, it's the start of uh, dental surgeon. There are many more procedures uh, like TMG ankylosis, facial, pa facial paralysis. These are the main concern uh, and uh, rhinoplasty, chief uh, augmentation procedure and then gene um, upliftment. Um, so there are a lot of procedures that is done in this department and especially um, surgery is a branch so uh, we perform all the major surgery here. So now uh, I will have talk about, uh, you have seen uh, many uh, Bollywood celebrities also uh, doing um, procedures like chin upliftment. Uh, nose uh, enlargement, yeah, fair, um, uh, lip surgery. So these are the surgeries. Uh, uh, then zin uh, gingivitis, and then uh, related to many more about the teeth, maxilla, mandible. So there are many more procedures that you have seen uh, done by the celebs. So what are they do to look more beautiful? So they come to the dental surgeon, especially the oral of the patient surgeon, and uh, they do all this procedure, you know. So, so how you can build now uh, the second most important question is how you can build a career in this field. So, uh, yeah, uh, one more thing also implant is also a procedure that is uh, done um, in this department so implants are like fixed teeth so uh, they uh, they charge lots of money outside uh, like for an implant they charge lots of money so to this department also deal with this situation now um, so about my work, I've seen you uh, that I'm an intern in this department after completing my uh, graduation and uh, I'm working as an intern in this department and uh, further uh, I'll be pursuing uh, a thing 
with some education um so not about me like uh, further um, i uh, wanted to pursue uh, my career in this department so uh, this is quite a good uh, department and dentistry now uh, how you can build a career um, in this department so uh, not in this department we'll see in this uh, oral how you can become a oral medicine patient surgeon so the oral medicine patient surgeon is like um, now you have to uh, first of all complete your tet plus 2 um, your journey starts from class 8 only class 8 9 uh, if you wanted to uh, go for a government college um, but if you don't get a government college also so 10 plus 2 uh, you have to compulsory have science as your subject like biology chemistry and physics uh, then uh, after completing this you have to be fully exam after qualifying this exam you are uh, going to take admission in uh, Dental surgery uh, branch, so as a BTO graduate, then um, you will be pursuing your career as a BDS graduate. So, after completing your four years, continue to four year and uh, one year rotary internship, you become a graduate, and then after that, um, you are going to uh, perform a lot of procedures after uh, like becoming a graduate. So like extractions uh, and uh, mainly extractions under LA uh, under GA and then you are going to um, see and assist a lot of MDS staff that's the senior staff um, about the procedure they do like surgeries like implant and uh, alveoloplasty um, impactant wisdom tooth and impact uh, tooth and then uh, these are the procedure uh, mainly you will be dealing with in your uh, insurance after that uh, you all your master master degree you have to opt for uh, like you have to see for need if you want to sit a medicine to a government seat other than that you need a minimum school uh, after completing your giving your need mds exam then uh, you are going to uh, join the college uh, as an oral medicine patient surgeon so um, and this is how uh, the career was so after uh, becoming an oral medicine surgeon so uh, after becoming an oral medicine surgeon sky is it uh, is your limit you can uh, you know um, what to say uh, you can either join a college and uh, become a lecturer in this a uh, reader in this uh, department or uh, you can set up your own clinic, own your business, uh, or um, there are many things you can do. Either you are become, you are becoming a doctor, you can settle uh, in abroad, also um, becoming an oral medicine patient surgeon. So this is the area of work. And uh, what are the salaries that you expect? See, um, it depends on uh, this uh, fee. Uh, depend. On, it's not like an engineering. Where uh, um, you are going to work for a company, uh, you here uh, you are the leader. Um, the more uh, your hands are appropriate, you are going to um, hand skills. You have soft skills, and so more you are going to shine in your life. Um, and uh, uh, many people uh, don't know uh, that. Um, even um, the class pad patients also be also uh, uh, babies that are born with class pad uh, they are also being treated in this department and um, what you know uh, uh, so what are the salaries uh, you expect so the more patient you are going to do 
obviously this is the medical department uh, the school dental department and uh, and more uh, the more number of patients you do the more you are going to earn definitely depending on what are the procedures uh, they are going to do uh, or uh, what are the procedures uh, they are asked to do or you are going to do uh, if an implant uh, like a uh, foot tooth cost seven thousand eight thousand in remote places like Afghanistan but if you go to metro cities you are going to charge more uh, because here uh, there um, there are a lot of uh, other expenses are also there so depending on that depending on the doctor depending on the cities uh, the charges are different and uh, um, in foreign countries also charges are more so um, what I wanted to say is if you are interested in building a career then go ahead and uh, join this team so uh, that's how it is that's how it works. Uh, so for today, I will sign you off. I think uh, if there are any more uh, queries in this uh, uh, about this department, or if you wanted to know anything uh, related to this insufficient surgery and uh, how to be in a career in this. Uh, how to uh, be in aesthetic line, uh, how to be in the beauty line. Uh, so you can uh, uh, comment me. I will uh, clear all your doubt. I will. Uh, I I hope in this video I have uh, tried to deal with the major concern uh, that I wanted to speak about. Uh, if you wanted to know anything other than this. Um, to comment me uh, below uh, I will clear all your doubts on the next vlog so today I'm signing off I'll be waiting when you